Today, I will explain about one type of plastics that is polystyrene. Polystyrene is made from words polymer of styrene, basically polymers are big or large molecules consisting of adjoined identical molecules, and whereas styrene is a colorless, oily liquid, the structure of polystyrene is a rigid transparent thermoplastic, like a stiff white foam. Now I will explain about how polystyrene is made. Polystyrene is made in a process known as suspension polymerization. After styrene produced by combining ethylene and benzene, it is merged with water and mucilaginous substance to form droplets of polystyrene. Next, the droplets are heated and combined with an initiator, which begins the process of polymerization. The droplets combine to form chains, which in turn combine into beads. Next, I will explain about the usage of polystyrene. First, polystyrene in food service. Polystyrene food service packaging typically insulates better, keep food fresher longer and costs less than alternatives. For the example you can the pictures above. The second usage is polystyrene in appliances. Refrigerators, air conditioners, ovens, microwaves, vacuum cleaners and blenders. These and other appliances often are made with polystyrene, solid and foam, because it is inert doesn't react with other materials, cost-effective and long-lasting. The other thing that I want to share with you guys is about end life of polystyrene. There seems to be common misconception that polystyrene is non-recyclable. Being a thermoplastic, it can actually be melted and molded into many different plastic items. At present, the recycling of polystyrene, or EPS foam, basically follows the following process. 1. Segregation. EPS foam products are separated from other wastes and then sorted. 2. Compaction. The segregated EPS foam products are fed to a compactor in order to reduce its volume. 3. Shredding. Langer pieces are shredded into flakes. 4. Melting. Extrusion. The flakes are forced through pelletizing extruders where they are heated and melted, then allowed to cool in order to solidify. The resulting material can be used through reheating and melting, to produce clothes hangers, picture frames, DVD cases and numerous other plastic products. Now, I will explain the present condition of polystyrene. Some businesses collect styrofoam for reuse. Check with local packaging stores in your area, most of them will accept styrofoam pellets for reuse. Now, I want to ask you a question. Can we prepare a more eco-friendly option? The answer is yes. I will explain three eco-friendly alternative products to styrofoam. First one is the InCycle Cups. Microgreen uses their unique technology to add carbon dioxide to recycled plastics, creating a lightweight, durable plastic that's easier to recycle and reuse. Second product is an earth shell, paper plates. There's no paper at all in these disposable plates, instead, rice, potatoes, and limestone could be the future of Central Park picnics. The last one is peat plastic. Peat is most often used to make gardening pots, and weird-smelling fires, but thanks to Finnish research organization, this cheap and abundant resource can be made into biodegradable cups and utensils. Okay that's all from me. I hope you guys can understand well the things that I explain about thank you.